Yo, what's up, fellas? This is the Money Game and Gamer Saloon. I am the Hawks playing the Bulls, and Kyle Corver hits that three right there. And before the patch, patch four, I just could not shoot with this man, and it's pretty crazy now that he's absolutely dangerous in this game. Damari Carroll is okay, but his release is a little janky, and I really don't like it. I actually prefer to start Kent Bazemore, and that's probably where I'll be going in the future with the Hawks because Bazemore is like a poor man's Gerald Green. He has an easy shot. He dunks on people. Damari Carroll, if he had an easier release, I'd start him. But like I said, his release is pretty ass. But that leads me to what I want to talk about today. And as you can see coming up here, Jeff T just annihilates the rim. But what are some of the releases you guys want to see changed in 2K16? Personally, for me, just to name a few off the top of my head, it'd be Draymond Green, Eric Gordon, Jimmy Butler, Matt Barnes, Harrison Barnes, Bradley Beal. Uh, Dirk's shot needs to be a little bit faster. It is way too slow to even compete with the Mavericks sometimes. And half of the time, when people use the Mavericks on Gamer Saloon, they're only using them to do the post fadeaway, which is pretty self-explanatory because that's what he does in real life. Also, Terrence Ross. And some people are saying Steph Curry. Now, I know his shot doesn't look like it does in real life on 2K, but it is pretty effective, it's pretty quick. Also, I'm not sure if you guys have played with Nick Stauskas or Mike Miller, but their releases are some of the shittiest releases I've ever seen. Um, the shot meter starts before they actually jump, and it's pretty much untimable, but also 2K just needs to make the animation just smoother and faster. There are some terrible shot animations like George Hill, Damari Carroll, People like that, and hopefully the releases are smoother for 2K16. But in this clip, you'll notice that I'm running the 2-3 offense, and Millsap's right in the middle. I just keep passing the ball back and forth, and eventually I find Bazemore for the 3 right there. I'm going to find Bazemore again. I'm going to miss this shot right here, but Corver's going to get the re. I find Millsap again, but I see Corver rotating to the corner, and it's going to be lights out because I think he has corner specialists as well, so he's pretty much going to make it every time if there's not a decent contest. And also right here, you'll see that Jeff T gets the jumper right there, but his release is also unnaturally slow. Needs to be addressed as well. But I'm gonna find Paul Millsap again coming up here for the mid-range jumper. Him and Horford really don't miss from mid. But if I were a consistent Hawks user, I'd probably run the 3-2 or 2-3 zone set because Milford, Milford, Millsap and Horford will be in the paint for most of the time anyway. And you want them in the paint for standing lobs for the most part because if you get it to them near the rim, they might finish, but they're not going to finish as well as they do in real life because big men in this game suck. So don't try and force something down in the paint if you don't have to, but Corver right here, going to hit another long two. I'm surprised his feet didn't just somehow ghostly move to the three-point line, but Derrick Rose hits that drifter going into the baseline, and that's some 2K13 cheese right there. This guy was literally running directly to the baseline into a fadeaway like they do now with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving does not miss his, so it's pretty crazy how uh, Kyrie Irving has actually been the better player for the 2K users for the Cavs this year, better than LeBron, actually. LeBron, he's pretty good, but Kyrie makes LeBron look like a role player in 2K, at least just to me. I feel like Kyrie can go off any game. LeBron's sort of limited in what he can do in this game, but Kent Bazemore is going to be wide open for the three right there. That's a 3-2 set. Three guys on the perimeter, two guys in the paint. So definitely try to run that if you can. If they're playing a zone defense, it works really well versus the zone as well. I'm going to find Jeff Teague right here. I'm surprised that I got open right here. And I'm surprised I actually hit it because that's a semi-contested shot. And Jeff Teague doesn't have the greatest release in the game. So pretty good looks right there with Jeff Teague. He's going to miss this drifter with Derrick Rose. Get the re with Al Horford pushing with Jeff Teague. And I'm going to find Corver right here to pretty much seal the game away. And he hits that green bean three right there. Going to find Kent Bazemore again though for another three upcoming. But if you enjoyed the game, drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Tomorrow I have possibly the greatest game in 2K history. Four overtimes. Can you believe it? It's going to be pretty crazy. So make sure to check out the channel tomorrow. With that, I'm out. Peace.